Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to talk to you about something that is on my mind today. And uh, it has to do with me kind of entering in a new chapter of life, a new chapter of not having to save for surgeries, not having to feel so stuck to my job and insurance, and kind of having a little bit more freedom to think about moving out of my parents' house and stuff like that. And this doesn't really have to do with that so much, but what I'm saying is I'm at a point in my life where I'm ready to take steps to create change. And part of that change is that I'm going into personal training or the fitness industry and uh, my personal training online class starts this week and I'm pretty excited about that. So that is my newest thing in life and I was thinking about what I want to do with my life and personal training is like only one aspect of it and this might not be the path that I'm always on to get to what I want to do in my life. The underlying thing is that I want to help people. And I want to help people kind of get somewhere when they're having, like I want I want to help people change their lives or take action into doing things for themselves that they may be feeling held back by fear or doubts or not believe, believing in themselves and things like that. And those are things that I still struggle with. So of course I need to like work on that myself first but it's been my biggest battle in life, so I'm really passionate about trying to help people get through the hard times where you, like, you feel like there's nowhere out, you just feel stuck and paralyzed. So fitness, where does this all tie into everything? Fitness to me is kind of a gateway into other ways to changing your life because it's such a hard thing for people to do. Like you need to be able to motivate yourself. You need to be able to create structure, routine, new habits. And so I feel like if someone can get into fitness and change their life in that way, that these ways can also carry out into other aspects of your life. And this is why my main focus is going to be fitness, at least to start out. I think that it has some very beneficial habit forming things that come with it. My holdups with going into the fitness industry, and this is something that I really want to emphasize and talk about because my biggest concern about going into this industry is that it is so image and body based. I have struggled with eating disorders in my past, I've struggled with body image in my past, and although I have overcome that a lot, like it's always going to be a struggle like in the back of your mind. Uh, so, not only for me, but it's not something that I want to specifically represent. I don't want to present this image to people, uh, to youth, to to any, to trans people, to anyone who may watch my videos or whatever. I don't want them to think that this is all that I care about, and I don't want people to get the idea that this is all they should care about. So, of course, this is my concern, and it kind of makes me nervous to promote fitness because there is that stigma around it. Uh, but when I promote fitness, I want it to be more about, you look at it in a way of taking care of yourself or creating change in your life or being able to know that you can believe in yourself and that you can accomplish goals that you put your mind to. Uh, so that is why I want to get into it and I feel like that is super important. And um, I know that within the FTM community, we do have some issues, some body image issues or the way that uh, we feel we're supposed to look and whatnot. It really doesn't matter what you look like. I think as long as you're trying to make positive changes, you are going to change your life. And I don't want people to think that you only have to look a certain way in order to feel like a man or feel healthy or feel important or something along those lines. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about that before I kind of go into my next chapter, my next promoting more fitnessy videos, maybe some more food videos or exercise videos or fitness information. And uh, I just want to be able to give you guys as much helpful tools and information as I can because ultimately, like, you don't, you don't need me. Uh, you just need some tools to help yourself. And um, I just want to give that to you. And there's a lot of misinformation out on the internet. And so if I could be a guide, then I would love to do that. So uh, yeah, I guess I'm just kind of telling you where this channel might head in the future after the surgeries are over 
and I know a lot of you might be here due to past surgeries or transition, specifically phalloplasty, so um, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, uh, phalloplasty isn't forever, but uh, yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for those of you that have followed me for a long time and for my new followers and it's really really helped me get through this time in my life and I want to help you guys out as much as I can so tell me how I can help you guys out leave me any questions in the comments or any topic suggestions for the future or any questions you might need about cooking nutrition fitness all that kind of thing and uh, I'm stoked to get uh, started on my fitness or my personal training certificate and I should be uh, certified within about 10 to 11 weeks depending on when my test can be scheduled and uh, I am going to be offering personal training in the future so that is also something to look out for if you are interested and uh, yeah I'm kind of nervous <laughs> not gonna lie but uh, I'm, I'm really excited and uh, I'm gonna see where this is gonna take me so yeah thanks for following along guys peace out I'll see you next time